According to the International Organization Transparency International, it estimates that Africa loses 50 billion US dollars per year through corruption. But what is corruption? It can best be defined as the dishonest or fraudulent conduct by those in power, typically involving bribery. In this video, I bring you the top five least corrupt African countries. And in case you're new here, my name is Gani, and this is the African Meat Show, where I spread good vibes about the African continent. So if you want to learn more about the African continent and African culture in general, please consider subscribing, turn the bell notification on as well, so that whenever I have a new video out, I get you notified. And also at every end of my videos, I share a free Swahili lesson. This is simply because Swahili is the most spoken language on the African continent. So be sure to look out for that. The Mauritius government adopted a zero tolerance policy against corruption. And they said corruption and fraud has no space in their country. The government realized that much of the corruption in their country was because of how national project tenders were being awarded to different companies to basically undertake various projects in the country. Many of these tenders and contracts were being awarded to the very people in positions of power and relatives to these very people in high positions. So they decided to come up with a streamlined tender awarding process by setting up a national tender committee that handles and vets all companies that express interest in certain projects in their country. What they also did was to set up a whistleblowing platform whereby if any of the nationals is caught or found engaging in corruption or bribery cases, they are directly reported to the committee. So this has greatly eradicated corruption cases in the country and no wonder it sits in our top five positions on the African continent. After many red flags had shown massive levels of corruption in Namibia, the former president Sam Nujoma put up the anti-corruption commission that was given absolute powers to handle all corruption cases in Namibia. The commission was able to reopen past corruption cases and scandals that had been perpetrated by high-ranking government officials. This greatly served as a lesson to many public servants to stay away from corruption in Namibia. Some of the property that belonged to these convicted government officials was confiscated back by the Anti-Corruption Commission to basically pay back for the losses they had caused the Namibian government. The Rwandan government has triumphed over corruption through coming up with different ways to combat the high levels of corruption that used to be in the country. These efforts over the years have been spearheaded by the president, Paul Kagame. He's been able to minimize corruption by eradicating any opportunities of misconduct by his government officials. President Paul Kagame has over the years focused on governance reforms and also maintaining a zero tolerance policy against corruption. It's his political will and strong leadership that has helped Rwanda recover from corruption and right now it's on that trajectory to development. No wonder it's called the Singapore of Africa. At number two, we have Botswana. In 1994, Botswana enacted a law called the Corruption and Economic Crime Act. This law was able to categorize any new crimes of corruption 
and they were able to establish the Directorate on Corruption and Economic Crime as a permanent agency. The agency literally took over from the Botswana Police Service and among its roles was maintaining good governance and transparency, establishing codes of conduct within the government offices, promoting ethical behavior in government and public organizations, and so many other duties that were fully handed over to this directorate. And finally, number one, we have Seychelles. Their journey to eradication of corruption started way back in 2004 when the former president James Mitchell vowed to crack down all the corrupt government officials. He was able to put in place the Anti-Corruption Commission and said the commission would function as the UN Convention that Seychelles was already a member. Seychelles is an island on the East African coast and I must say it's one of the safest places to be on the African continent. For the full list of the least corrupt African countries, you can check out the description of this video. And for our Swahili lesson for today, it is a greeting basically saying Habari yako. So this is a way you could tell someone in English how are you so you're basically trying to find out how the other person is doing so when you're doing this in swahili we say habari yako so that's our swahili lesson for today in case you found this video very helpful please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to please subscribe to the channel turn the bell notification on as well so that whenever i have a new video out i get you notified thank you so much for watching Watch this next video.